I want you to get ready for a significant change in energy that will occur during this full moon in December. Imagine the impossible, and we will do all in our power to make it a reality for you. There is a growing amount of knowledge as well as curiosity on the forthcoming significant energy change that will take place in December of 2022. This video presents the most recent knowledge on this event, which coincides with the calendars of the majority of mythological civilizations, including the Maya calendar and the Egyptian calendar. There is also discussion over who will awaken and why, in addition to some possible signals that this awakening may manifest. It just so happens that the next full moon will occur in the December 8 of 2020, which is the culmination of a cycle that lasts 20 years. In addition to this, it brings about a significant change in energy as well as an awakening for all of mankind. As each forthcoming high vibrational event takes place, I will publish videos on my channel detailing all of the upcoming events. These will also contain cosmic wave alignments with your planetary bodies and their eclipses at the lower frequency spectrum and the galactic activation grid, as well as chemtrails and the frequency at which they are fading into a recollection of past times. 1. This one location contains the totality of the universe, and we have already arrived at this location. 2. There are synchronizations on Earth that occur when there is a change in the electromagnetic frequencies, and this results in the formation of ethereal links. 3. You may not even be aware of the changes in how you are feeling as a result of these waves. All of this is a component of a conscious awakening that is meant to go continuing from the point where one is completely aware. At this point in time, we are gaining a better understanding of the course that our lives are taking, and as a direct result, we are starting to make plans for the future and adjusting our objectives appropriately. The dreams that we had the previous year, or even the previous month, for that matter, are morphing and developing at a breakneck speed into something completely new or even more expansive than we had initially imagined. Leaning into the creative process and adventure that is just starting to unfold around us is the right thing to do at this moment. As the evenings become chillier, you could find yourself sitting outside and staring up at the night sky, awestruck by the stars, or eagerly anticipating the arrival of complete darkness. Right now is your opportunity. The following two weeks will provide some incredible opportunities for in-depth work on mental undertakings, such as goals, creative pursuits, planning, and thinking about the bigger picture. Set aside specific time for reflection, and recognize the value of the evening hours as your ally. This full moon carries with it some hot, charged energy as it falls under the sign of Gemini, which is ruled by the twins. Even while it is not as powerful as the blood moon eclipse that we had back in November, it has the potential to operate as a catalyst, reigniting or reawakening sensitive areas that were stirred up during that time. The twins are the symbol for Gemini, however, only one of the twins is mortal while the other is immortal. Both of our contrasting personalities are embodied in the twins. We are both human and soul in our very essence. Both the part of us that dies and the part of us that lives on will always be a part of us. The Gemini full moon encourages us to strike a balance between our human and spiritual sides by encouraging us to see the oneness that exists between the two. When the full moon is in the sky, it is possible that we will discover the need to respect and exercise patience with the more human aspects of our nature. It's just that we're human. It is okay for us to have feelings, to make errors, and to lack complete awareness of our surroundings at times. In the same way, we are going to have to put in the same amount of effort in order to recognize and appreciate our spirit side as well. The part of us that is connected to our soul is aware that there are no incorrect choices, no regrets, and no errors. Our spiritual selves are aware that life is one long voyage of discovery and that the only thing that truly matters is love. Our human selves and our spiritual selves do not always operate in unison, and it can be difficult for them to comprehend one other's points of view because of this. Our human selves have need for things like food and a place to sleep. Our spiritual selves have a responsibility to pursue what makes us happy. 
Stability and healing are things that our human beings crave. Our eternal selves are aware that this is all a passing phase and that we have already been cured. Finding a middle ground between these two ways of knowing can be challenging at times, but this full moon presents us with the opportunity to do so. See if you can find a way to recognize both the human and spiritual parts of yourself, regardless of what the next full moon has in store for you. Check to see if you can get in touch with each of these aspects of yourself in the same way that you would get in touch with an old friend. If you pay attention to what they have to say and treat them with dignity, equilibrium will appear very immediately. As was indicated, there is a very hot and charged energy around this full moon, which is mostly caused by the presence of Mars, which is conjunct the moon at this time. Mars is also traveling in retrograde at the moment, which adds to the intensity of its force. Mars is the planet that represents initiative, activity, and power. When Mercury is in retrograde, we can feel compelled to examine why we do the things we do and why we take the actions we do, as well as to rethink how we choose to invest our energy. Since our energy is a limited resource, it is possible that this full moon may shed light on the things that are worthy of spending our energy on and the things that we need to let go of. If you feel as though you are squandering your vitality on particular thinking patterns, relationships, habits, or beliefs, the period of this full moon is an excellent opportunity to name those things out and cast them out into the wind. The presence of Mars may also cause us to have feelings of agitation or excitement for a certain topic. It may be difficult to keep our feelings in check, but there are moments when it is absolutely fine to allow yourself to become furious, to express yourself, and to let any intense feelings that you have out. There are moments when we feel the need to express ourselves and get things off our chest. Although there are intentional methods in which we might accomplish this goal, there are also instances when the circumstances of our lives get the better of us. It's all good here. This is what distinguishes us from other animals. It is not required of us to always be full of love and light. It is more natural for us to accept how we genuinely feel, even if we have a hunch that it is coming from a place of ego, since this is how we are wired. It is necessary for us to occasionally grant ourselves permission to simply be human. Many of us have feelings of shame regarding our anger, both when we feel it and when we show it. Although no one ever wants to experience anger and no one ever wants to be on the receiving end of it, anger is a normal and healthy part of the human experience, despite the fact that it can sometimes have negative consequences. There are times when we just need an outlet for our anger in order to be liberated from it. After that, it will be simpler for us to reassess the situation and choose what our next step should be. The intense and passionate energy that surrounds this full moon may cause us to express feelings or thoughts in a way that may cause us to later experience remorse or to utter things that we come to really regret saying. However, try to be patient with yourself. Don't let your pride prevent you from apologizing when it's appropriate, but if what you said is truly how you feel, don't back down from what you said. Another planet that may be seen moving around in the sky during this full moon is Neptune. Since Neptune is known as the planet of intuition, it is possible that we may receive confirmation for something that we have had an intuitive hunch about for a considerable amount of time. Under the influence of the full moon, it is important to follow your gut feelings, if you need more evidence, the universe will send it your way. The astrology surrounding the full moon in December 2022 reminds us that it is okay for us to allow ourselves to feel, experience, and test the limits that we have set up for ourselves. In order to accomplish our goal, we must continue to exert effort, remain flexible, and set increasingly difficult goals for ourselves. Our purpose as human beings is to ensure that we live for as long as possible, remain in good health, and enjoy a sense of safety and consistency. Our purpose in life is to feel every feeling that the rainbow has to offer, including love, loss, adaptation, growth, and transformation. This is our soul's goal. This full moon gives a bridge, 
enabling us to find our equilibrium and to feed both sides of our experience here at Earth School. Life is a juggling act between the two, but this full moon offers a bridge between both. It is essential to have faith in oneself at all times, regardless of the circumstances or events that may transpire. You shouldn't give up on your hopes and objectives, even if it means pretending to be successful until you actually are. Don't imagine it. Live it. Do not allow anything to prevent you from achieving the life that you want to create for yourself. Thank you for your endless support, and stay tuned for the upcoming video.